Wait. On your mark. Greetings and motherfucking salutations. I'll do the intro, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. Everybody is ready for the powwow with their chief, or elsewise there's going to be big trouble, because hey, as Roddy Piper said one time, I got no reservations about fighting an Indian. Powwow with their chief. It's hot as fuck. That's why we changed up the optics. There's a fan right here. You can probably hear it. But I am dying in this motherfucker. It is hot. He's as fuck. Could be as the edibles. Fuck. That's why he okay. has a special position. So I got the special week. position. And I actually kind of like this. This is, this is pretty pretty cool. Hey, if it, it works might, for you, it bro, might, it might look for different. Oh, but, you, know uh, why? you know what? That concrete is cool as fuck. Yeah, it is. Yeah, cool as fuck. yeah, it is. yeah it How is. cool is that concrete? Cool as fuck. Super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Not as cool Whoa, as Whoa, you're though. jumping off <laughs> camera? Sorry. Whew. Jesus Christ. I had to go there and get some fresh AC. I need to cool my body off. Right. Huh. So, in the spirit of cooling our bodies off, we're going to go ahead for this week on the powwow. We're going to roll up some banana ice cream. Oh, shit. Fuck yeah. You know what I like as better than I banana ice cream? Because this shit is so fucking sticky, bro. But no, I bet it's real. even sticky more with all the heat. <laughs> <laughs> not, not even that. Like it's just this is just some really, really dense, really, really sticky, really, really fucking sprinkly, crystally shit. I this see is it amazing. Here sparkling. It's sticky, yeah. Icky. It's, this, it's the sticky, icky, 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 icky. Hey, can I give so you a little gonna... insight on something real quick? What? I need you to do some math for me. What? Keep it real simple. What's one hundred plus twenty-five? Uh, one hundred and twenty-five, which oh. ironically is the same amount of number of fucking subscribers that we have to our YouTube. And if I remember correctly, that means that somebody over here is supposed to be doing something super special for 125 subscribers. I'm celebrating a little bit, you know, because I appreciate you guys. It's just an excuse to be an alcoholic. It's just an excuse to be an alcoholic. Joe Bang should be shotgunning a beer at the same time. Right. Joe Bang should be doing a lot of things. Every goddamn time I do this for this week, because this is the first time I'm going to shotgun a beer this week. So. Film it. Woo. This is for you guys. There you go. Oh, that 3. was 5. quick. That one was quick. Mm. Woo. Nice. Let's Thank see you what all. he does the rest of the week. Nice. Feed that, Joe Bay. Right. Mm. A little release for you, too. I apologize to anybody that was disgusted by that. You were raised to be a bitch. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> Not like Well, I mean, consider who you're talking to. <laughs> Have you seen the little <laughs> tubes they got for shotgun and like bottles? Yeah, they those look a lot like um, those right there. Yep. That's exactly what they See, use. They use those and they put another cord in them. You're going to have to show the people them. here some ninja skills because... You got the fan blowing at you, and I can see the the wraps rolling around on the table. But I'm not losing any powwow. He's not going to lose any powwow, folks. No, nope, I'm breaking so down fan. directly into the plastic bag because sometimes that's what you got to fucking do. Because as we know, the powwow can happen anywhere, and sometimes you, you don't right. always have the facilities to sit down at a table in a climate controlled area and break down with a grinder and a tray and all that shit. Like we have those amenities here, but I mean, just like you said, sometimes you got to flex the ninja skills. Yeah, if you're Sometimes in a hurricane, you just gotta show. this is how you want to do this. Exactly. All right. <laughs> Have you a little shell on either side. So don't be like, oh, I was shown, it. actually, by Psycho Bob, how to roll a blunt using just the brim of your hat. Oh, that's correct. I remember uh, watching our uncle grandfather do that shit one time, uh, walking down. Walking uh, down the fucking street. Let's see here, in West Olympia. Mm -hmm. Now, it might have been like the fourth or fifth time he shared some of that, you know, scissor with <laughs> your boy. Yeah. Found out that your boy was had that. A, that was uh, that was the same time that we both lost a week at this motherfucker's Correct. house on the couch. <laughs> That's right. And I woke up with this motherfucker. Bam! Yep. Oh! I woke up with this motherfucker <laughs> and someone Boom. else who will go unnamed, waking me up, telling me to go and die at home. Good time. Okay. You've been here too fucking long. It's time for you to leave. And I was like, oh. What happened? <laughs> Is it Friday? And they're like, no, it's no. Wednesday. I said, no, <laughs> that can't be it because I showed up here you on fucking week, Thursday. They said, yeah, mm -hmm. we know. You've been here <laughs> yeah, since Thursday. 
You've been here since Thursday. It's now Wednesday. You need to go home. <laughs> so yeah. Or and start paying uh, rent. <laughs> and that's why we don't lace our powwows with permethazine anymore, kids. <laughs> Warning, definitely don't try that Warning. at Warning, do not lace your powwows with lean. Drenching you will that go shit with night. it like it's jelly and putting it in the goddamn oven is not the same as putting jelly on it and putting it in the oven. They smoke the same, they react differently. It's just a little bit. And here's, here's the cheat code, because I know somebody out there just heard me say that and they're like, oh, fuck that, I do what the fuck I want, you're not going to tell me anything. I know how to do. I know how to control my shit. Feel free, brother. Go ahead. When you OD. When you... Lacing your shit, <laughs> lacing your shit is a double fucking a double edged sword. Yep. You can guarantee that you're gonna go to sleep. It's the whole waking up thing. That's the tricky part. So don't be fucking stupid. When somebody says, "Trust me, this will be great," mm. it's probably not gonna be that cool. <laughs> trust shit, because that's yeah. what happened. Yeah, you don't trust shit, who's bro. Telling you to trust it, and then yeah. just, uh, maybe not. You know who used to tell people to trust him all the time? Joshua. Jake the Snake Roberts. <laughs> You know True. who's a piece of shit? Jake the Snake Roberts. <laughs> I was going to say Jeffrey Dahmer, but... <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer, yeah, he was a very trustful dude. Yeah, trustworthy dude. Definitely. Yeah? You know, you're trying to get fucking raped and killed and eaten. Yeah, definitely hit that guy up. Trust me, subscribe and like the podcast. We won't rape, kill, or eat you. <laughs> <laughs> Trust us. <laughs> Got your back. That's right. Got your back like the sweat. Style. Got mine right now. What the fuck is going on? Why am I so hot? Is it because the powwow was straight it, fire we this week? To, we might have to break down. Hey. We need more subscribers. For hire, maybe. Whew. Check we're, out this uh, shirt I got, guys. America, we're almost, the beautiful. Uh, we're almost ready to go over here, guys. Oh, snap. Man, what's that? You asked? He says he's almost ready to go. It's almost time for ice cream. was, bro. It's almost like, time for ice cream. That was so fast. Oh, I love ice cream. So fast in front of the fan. Right. That was like... And didn't lose shit. Uh, All right. saying, man. So... Oh, you motherfuckers. Jesus wow. Christ, Manelli, who taught you how to That's going to sound amazing. I don't know, Jimmy Garoppolo, who taught you how to throw? Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Jesus I don't think Jimmy Garoppolo ever overthrew anybody, so that's irrelevant. No, he hasn't been able to because his legs have been blown <laughs> out the last two years. There you go. Thanks for complimenting my quarterback skills. You could have called me Tebow. Hey, at least he has a job. No, nah, Tim Jimmy Tebow was Garoppolo. a good quarterback. Huh? Tim Tebow was a good quarterback. You said he was. He's about to be a great tight end. Pretty maybe, excited to watch him play. Maybe that's, that's what Jimmy that G. That could have been interpreted a whole another way. <laughs> hey man, it's only interpreted you one way Tim when you got a great Christ tight in your end. heart. Uh, I'm ready for the ice cream man. You guys remember when taking a knee was problematic in the Holy NFL? Holy shit, that actually tastes like Back when ice it was cream. Tim Tebow taking a knee to pray to God. I feel like that that whole movement just like legit wow, just took the fucking good. carpet out from beneath right. fucking Tim Tebow and threw it down there. Like, look, they're already mad about this dude for kneeling. Let's fucking Ooh. do that. <laughs> so, if you guys have been following, and uh, due to the hiatus last week, we weren't able to cover this. But uh, I asked you guys to give me your top three, dead or alive, when it came to the professional wrestlings. So, uh, any particular order? No, in no particular order. There are no wrong answers. This was just something I was personally interested in. So, uh, we asked you, the people out there, to submit your choices. And, of course, nobody did. <laughs> so, really, that just goes to show that the only opinions uh, that matter are the four of ours right here. So, who wants to go first? I will. You'll go first? Yeah. All right, so, Sir so, Richard, right, give us so, your top three dead or alive professional wrestlers. I actually picked four, so sorry about the number count. I no, also okay. picked four. <laughs> but, uh, so, later. what we're going to do is I got Hayabusa as number one. Okay. All right, and then after that, I've got uh, RVD as number two. Okay. And then I've got AJ Styles okay. as number three, and then Pentagon Jr. Probably, <laughs> like my top favorite wrestlers of all time anytime like and, and and i know other people you know are like rick flair this and that i've always liked at super athletic fucking wrestlers i'm not really concerned with a lot of you know the the 
the talkity talk. So maybe that's why I like those guys so much. <laughs> so but, you're saying you don't like guys that can work. Major D. She doesn't <laughs> like nobody that can work too much. I, I, I actually, what I don't like is I'm more to uh, the physical type of wrestler as opposed to the acting type of wrestler that's at the, like, I'm just here pe to, to play a part. You know what I mean? I, yeah. I don't like people that play parts. I like I like my wrestlers to be that person, feel themselves. Every single person I called off on the list, I felt that those people were those motherfuckers. AJ Styles is AJ Styles. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like all those people yeah. were those people. I can dig it. Okay. I, 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 I said there, I said there's no there's no wrong answers, and we're we're sticking to that. But I am just gonna take the piss out of it just a little bit. All of those guys with the, oh, well, damn. yeah, all of those guys That's my fault. are horrible actors anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, two funny. of those guys can't fucking speak English, so that kind of disqualifies them. Yep. And anybody that's seen what AJ Styles has done in the WWE knows that AJ is better when he don't talk. He's like crow sting. <laughs> so okay, I, I, I fuck with that though. I like all of those guys. That's a very good list. Hey. He like he likes the flippity guys, so. Totally, totally flippity, flippity. respect that. RVD is on my fucking top ten list. He didn't make my top five. For real? No, he's not on my top three. So, Shano, who you got? Uh, well, since both of these guys did a four, I will just say an honorable mention because you already said hi. I did. I did. A, I did three and an honorable mention. So, so I guess we'll just call my it four. Honorable mention will. Uh, okay. He, that guy was just an innovator and dude did did a lot of shit, man. He didn't give uh, a fuck. Right. <laughs> Like some other people and like his counterparts, but you know, I digress. Uh, I will go with number three, Jushin Thunder Liger. Oh, shit. Ooh. Nice, <laughs> nice. As, as well, and he was just an innovator. Uh, my number two, uh, Double A, Arn Anderson. Nice. The Enforcer. The guy could cut promos. The guy was fluid in the ring. Like, even when he was doing run ins and stuff. Smooth in and out. The guy was a great heel, great face when he was a face, but most of the time, dirty heel. But uh, my number one is probably, in my opinion, the ultimate heel, the Great Muda. Very nice. Ooh. Very nice. Ooh. Innovator, but like everybody says, like oh, Chris Jericho has reinvented himself so many times. But I'm like, Great Muda is sixty some years old. Great Muda is still, still going, bro. Still. Going I just strong. saw the picture yesterday. Great Muda is still going. Still going strong. Changes it up. Doesn't change up much. Still keeps his wrestling style unless he's KG Mutal, but <laughs> which is cool because you know he's got two different wrestling styles. Which All right. So that would be a that would be number number one. Huh. <coughs> what about you over there? All right. So I modified the numbers just so I could fit four people on this list. I didn't know if four people was going to be okay or if you know we could have honorable mentions. I just kind of fudged <laughs> the numbers to make this happen. Number three and four belongs to the Rock and Sock Connection. Mankind and motherfucking Dwayne Johnson. Those motherfuckers. Rock the Dwayne the Johnson. The Rock would be a whole lot higher if I didn't weasel in a fourth pick. You know, it would have been a lot higher on the list. Maybe second. Probably not first. Um, after those guys, it's pretty easy. I'm going with the motherfucking nature boy, Ric Flair. Ain't nobody in the fucking history of the world can compete with that dude on a microphone. So go ahead and try it and lose as much as you want. Uh... Sure, it's blatantly obvious who number fucking one is because fuck fear, drink beer. Let's go, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Very, very nice. I also had Stone Cold Steve Austin in my top spot because it's Stone Cold Steve fucking Austin. He's the greatest of all time. You can't fuck with that man. I also put in New Jack. Fuck yeah. Legend. The most hardcore motherfucker to ever walk the face of the earth. Step between a motherfucking set of ropes. And anybody yeah. that disagrees with that can fight me right fucking now in this horrible heat. Number like three, speaking of fucking heat and how hot it is, Latino Heat himself, mm. the great motherfucking that Eddie Guerrero, my, my, the uh, only motherfucking oh, professional mention. wrestler ever that can make you mad as fuck, fuck yeah. laugh, I actually, and fucking cry yeah. all at the same fucking time in the same match. After you Latino say that, I probably heat. put Chris Benoit as my number five. Man. And I put Chris Benoit in on that list as well. Yeah. Chris Benoit was an amazing yes, wrestler. Yes, because if you want, you want to see, I'll you want to see some goddamn does. wrestling. You want to see some wrestling. Yeah. Somebody go out there and fight and whoop somebody's ass and do some wrestling and not do all right. that talking. 
Chris Benoit. He was the man. We're not going to talk about anything else. That's where we're going to end it on. Couldn't this cut subject. a promo. If you couldn't ever cut it in life, but he wrestled mention, like a motherfucker. My honorable mention: Two Cold Scorpio, because that was the first motherfucking wrestler I ever saw, and he did some amazing shit. And then he was black too. I was like, "Yep, yeah. this guy's fucking awesome." Uh, that's how I got so, Great Muda. He was the first wrestler I ever saw wrestling against uh, Ric Flair. Fuck yeah. Very fucking nice. He pulled out a nice. fucking, like, a judge's gavel out of his fucking pants. Beat him with it. And hit him with it, and then, like, tuck, oh, That's yeah. a double tucked entendre. It. He tucked it so the ref didn't see him. That's, that's like a double, double entendre. entendre. He pulled the gavel out of his pants, bro. I like this guy. <laughs> well, there you go. Oh, yeah. So, that's all the time we're going to have for today. We're going to go ahead and end this. Give a shout out to the fucking Hippie House, the premier glass emporium in the Northwest. Make sure to see them for all your powwow needs and accessories. Woo! Shit, yeah. we yeah, really are out of time. Here yeah, we're shutting it all down, bro. Little Oop. shout out to fucking Harris Signco at gmail.com. They're we still need more doing amazing work. Our Vinyls, t shirts, car wraps, <laughs> all that fucking shit. Comics the Gathering. Make sure and hit them up over to Come on Pacific Avenue because they are having an amazing sale going on next month. It's going to be 50 percent com- or 50 cent comics. 50 cent comics. You can't beat those prices. You can fill up a Never. whole fucking box for 110 bucks, bro. Right now. like, Well, not like right now, but when the sale goes on. When the sale goes on. Over 37,000 comics. So go see them. Until next time. That's all the time we got for today. Hashtag AXC Podcast. Like, share, and subscribe. We will catch you guys next time. Hashtag, hashtag. And to both of you and all the other powwowers out there, thank you, fuck you. Bye-bye, everybody.